the angels. We celebrate the feast day of three great angels, we call them archangels, on September 29th every year. These angels are Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Raphael, and Saint Gabriel. Michael means who is like unto God. Gabriel means power of God. And Raphael means medicine of God, or God saves, or God heals. Let's talk about, to, today let's talk about the Archangel Gabriel, meaning power of God. We encounter the Archangel Gabriel in the book of Daniel in the Old Testament, but also we encounter him in a very special way in the New Testament, specifically in the Gospel of St. Luke. And actually we encounter him two times, we might say back to back. He appears to Zechariah, who is the spouse of St. Elizabeth, in the temple. While Zechariah offers incense in the temple, the archangel Gabriel appears to him and announces him the good news, the gospel, that after many years, Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth, who was barren for many years, suffering much, but finally have a baby. Zechariah, using, using hu human reasoning, recognizing that his wife is beyond the age of childbearing, he doubts and says, he doubts that the child will be born to him and his wife because of her age. And because of this, Zechariah struck dumb. The second apparition of the Archangel Gabriel, one of the most important in the history of the salvation, is in the Gospel of Luke, which follows this encounter with Zechariah, is the Annunciation. The angel Gabriel appears to Mary and announced to Mary that she will be the mother of God. He says, Hail Mary, full of grace. So the first part of the Hail Mary actually comes from the Archangel announcing to Mary that she would be the mother of God. And he says that she will conceive and have a child. The child's name will be called Jesus because he will save the people of their sins. Mary asks, how can this happen? Since she does not know man. And the Archangel Gabriel says, that, behold, her cousin Elizabeth is already with child, because nothing is impossible with God. The Holy Spirit will ever overshadow you. That which is born in you is of the Holy Spirit. Mary says, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be done to me according to thy word. And the angel left her. The, arch the archangel Gabriel, proclaimed by Pope Paul VI, is the patron of communication because he communicated to Mary the most important message in the history of salvation that she would be the mother of the Savior. So let's ask and beg Saint Gabriel for the gift to be able to communicate well, to be able to speak and teach the Word of God but also for the grace to be able to put it into practice.